Hello and welcome to the episode 200 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. To celebrate the 200th day together, we have the Beatles appearing live on the ITV network, a discussion about future plans and the rehearsals for Sexy Sadie. On the 19th of July 1961, for the second time in their history, the Beatles played a double feature at the Cavern Club in Liverpool with a two-hour lunchtime concert and an evening performance. The band featured Pete Best on drums. One year later, in 1962, the same lineup of the Beatles performed at the Majestic Ballroom in Birkenhead, their fourth time in 22 days. Indeed, the engagement was an extension of one week of the original three-week contract, due to popular demand. In 1963, the Beatles, now finally featuring Ringo Starr on drums, played the first of two sold-out nights at the Ritz Ballroom in Real, Wales. Each night saw the band playing two houses. On the 19th of July 1964, the Fab Four appeared live on the variety program Blackpool Night Out, the summer edition of Big Night Out. The show broadcast live on the whole ITV network from the ABC Theatre in Blackpool between 8.25 and 9.25 pm, was hosted by comedian brothers Mike and Bernie Winters. The Beatles topped the bill, including Keita Rivera, Frank Berry, Jimmy Edwards and Lionel Blair. Apart from performing A Hard Day's Night, Things We Said Today, You Can't Do That, If I Fell and Long Tall Sally, the lads took part to a couple of comedy sketches. In the episode description you'll find a link to a recording of the appearance, if it manages to stay online. The performances were so close to the album versions that the uploader had problems with the YouTube copyright algorithm. But as John points out before If I Fell, they were not miming for once. Smooth sailing in 1967 with the Beatles at the top of the world. After the successes of Sgt. Pepper's and All You Need Is Love, it seemed that the band couldn't fail. And yet, never tired, they were eager to discuss a new project that Paul had envisioned in early April, as we saw on episode 102 of this very podcast. The project was a new film, to be broadcast on TV and shown in cinemas. Magical Mystery Tour. During the meeting, the band discussed the opportunity to buy a Greek island and move there permanently, living with their loved ones in a commune of sorts. The island should have had four villas for the Beatles, lodgings for staff and friends, and a recording studio, plus an entertainment complex. It was John's idea, and it was less far out than it seems, if you think that the discussion had originally started with the buildings being located in Norfolk. The agency seemed much better location, with its mild climate. In the afternoon, John Lennon and Paul McCartney took part to a Rolling Stones recording session at the Olympic Studios, singing backing vocals on We Love You, the new single of the Stones. But let us not lose our focus on your support and the money I need to buy my own Greek island… Oh no, wait! You are not meant to know! Seriously, thank you for your support. Even just talking about the podcast with your friends will help me to reach one of my aims, forming a community of like-minded music lovers. For anything else you might want to do, please give a look to www.simonmas.com support. Thank you for being fab! And let's close with another recording session this time in 1968. Between 7.30 pm and 4 am, the Beatles started working on Sexy Sadie, recording 21 rehearsal takes and jams based on the song, looking for the perfect arrangement. 
As we covered in the same episode 102 cited above, the song, originally called Maharishi and written as Lennon and Harrison were leaving India, was a statement about John Lennon's disillusionment with the Yogi, but, on George's suggestion, John changed the title to something less inflammatory. In fact, the song had already changed its name when John recorded its first demo version in late May 1968. The band filled more than three tapes with music, and with something else too. Just three days after engineer Jeff Emerick had decided to quit, as we saw in episode 197, the tapes captured an exchange in which George Harrison and Paul McCartney told producer George Martin to stop being uptight and negative, to which Martin responded, again, by telling them to do whatever they wanted. Later, it was Yoko Ono to suggest that perhaps the band could play the song better. Lennon, sensing that the suggestion might inflame the high-charged atmosphere, was quick to reply, well, maybe I can. And maybe I can see you tomorrow, when we will talk about a breakup and other stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.